The VAR display is a multi-dimensional visualization approach that scales up to hundreds of dimensions. In this video, we present the interaction tools provided with the VAR display. There are two datasets used in this video. Dataset 1 contains 838 dimensions, and Dataset 2 contains 89 dimensions. They are real datasets containing low-level visual attributes of more than 10,000 image segments. Users can interactively change the dimension glyph layout in the VAR display. The MDS layout positions the 838 dimension pixel-oriented glyphs of dataset 1 such that closely related dimensions are close to each other on the screen. The jigsaw map layout arranges the dimensions into a hierarchical structure in a non-overlap manner. It can be seen that groups of closely related dimensions can be distinguished from other dimension clusters. We can also select a group of dimensions and create a new MDS layout according to the relationships among them. The rainfall metaphor allows users to detect the relationships between one dimension and all other dimensions through an animation. Users can interactively change the order of pixels in the pixel-oriented glyph by clicking on the glyph. Relationships between the selected dimension and the other dimensions can then be seen more easily. All scatter plots share the same X dimension. Users can interactively change the X dimensions. A set of navigation tools are provided to reduce clutter. The glyph size can be varied to reduce overlap or increase detail. Distortion allows the size of a selected number of glyphs to be varied. The layers can be reordered to view overlapping glyphs. Manual relocation allows the user to separate overlapping dimensions. Zooming and panning to view more detail is also possible. Users can select a dimension of interest and find dimensions closely related to it by varying a similarity threshold. Users can also select a set of distinct dimensions from the dataset. Using the control panel, we can select a subset of data items. Unselected data items are hidden by a mask over all the dimension glyphs. We can change the mask to be semi-transparent to provide context for selected data items. Even for dataset 2, which only contains 89 dimensions, labels cluttered the display. To overcome this problem, we choose to label a subset of the dimensions. The subset is chosen by selecting a dimension and then varying a threshold to select distinct dimensions, reducing the screen clutter. In the jigsaw map, we angle the labels to greatly reduce the clutter.